Hi, and welcome to this video where I'm going to talk about how to start your own analytics consultancy or agency. Now, the reason I'm, I'm answering this question is because I joined this uh, website called lunchclub.ai uh, really early on in 2020 when we were back when we had the lockdown, uh, COVID lockdown in the UK. A friend of mine said, you know, join this uh, website called lunchclub.ai um, and you can meet interesting people uh, who share similar interests. You just log in, put your interests in, uh, and then they'll match you with people who are very similar to you. Um, I believe at Lunch Club AI I used to meet physically in, in like San Francisco, New York, London, um, but obviously with COVID lockdown, everything became virtual, which was quite good because then you met people from other parts of the world and I've met people from, you know, all over the world. Um, but the interesting thing was I did get connected to a lot of people who um, had been working in data analytics or data science for you know, a few years, maybe four or five years, and are thinking now about starting their own analytics consultancy or agency. Now, this is different to being a freelancer, so I'm not talking about going, going to be a freelancer, but I'm talking more about starting their own analytics agency and consultancy. And because I've done this a couple of times, and I've also set up like a, an analytics a, a team or analytics function within a larger agency, um, they've always asked my opinion on, you know, um, how to go about it. So I thought I'd use this opportunity to sort of you know, uh, share my thoughts on how to do that. So the first thing I tell them is, look, you need to be able to do 80% of the task of, of an analytical task. Okay. So if you think about, you know, um, the, the, the process for uh, analyzing data or answering a business question or a problem is you've got to first ingest the data from, you've got to import the data from somewhere, ingest it into a tool. You've got to then be able to process that data, transform it into the format you need. Then you run the analysis. Um, and once you run the analysis, you then need to present it back to the, the business in a certain way that they understand it. Okay, so that whole end-to-end -end process, um, you know, you need to be able to do at least 80% of that, okay? And there's two folds for that. One is, if you don't know how to do it, you're going to find it very hard to be able to then uh, sort of run a, a business that uh, specializes or is mainly about data analytics. The second thing is cost. What you don't want to do in the early days is hire people to do things that you should really be doing, uh, especially the, bulk, the, the core of what your business is, which is data analysis or data science. So like I said, I, ask, I, I always say to them, can you do 80% of the entire end-to-end -end of a data uh, project? Now, some people are fortunate that in their job they do do the end-to-end, -end, so they're very familiar with it. But other people have worked in like maybe big companies or they've worked as part of a, a, a workflow where they don't do things like the data import or the data extraction from the data warehouses or the data marts, or they don't do the presenting to the client or they don't do the cleaning and manipulation because it's already transformed in the ETL process. Um, so <clears throat> what you find is that you know, people then come to realization, well, hang on, if I don't know what the end to end is, how can I run an analytics company? But those that do, brilliant. You can at least, if you can do 80% of it, that's a great start. The second thing is you need to be very good at marketing and selling yourself and your product. Because when you sell analytics, um, you're not really selling something tangible, something that they could buy. Um, so really in the early days, if, if, you know, if you're setting up a, uh, an analytics consultancy or agency, it's you that they're buying. So you've got to make sure that you're able to convince people um, that you know that they should be buying your analytics services. Um, now, one of the things I advise on this uh, area is if you are in an existing company, if you're in a company and you're thinking about leaving that company to start your analytics, have a look if the, that company would hire you back um, or hire your company uh, to do something that you may have done or other things that other people are doing or they're stretched and you can help them in something. And typically, you know, you would start an analytics company if you felt that there were areas that you could go and help people in. Um, so have a think about if, if there's something that your current company can do or if you're in an agency, uh, you know, without stealing the, the client, obviously your agents, agency's um, clients, but have a look about if there's any wider projects that your agency's not doing that you could potentially uh, do or it's an ex-client that your agency's lost that client but you work with them before and therefore you, you're able to reapproach them and that comes to the next point which is network so before you leave do some networking because once you've left afterwards it's very hard to network because you're an unknown entity if you're working in a company or if you're working in an agency or a consultancy you know the brand of that consultancy will allow you to network people will um, uh, you know uh, connect with you and, and, and have meetings with you um, so try and network try and get a good network get a good feel for uh, what people are looking for if they're going to hire an analytics agency and whether you feel you can do that because don't forget if you can't sell your products if you can't 
uh, market your product, then you have no nothing to no revenue coming in, okay, uh, and therefore you have no business, okay. So it's very important that you're able to uh, uh, market and sell your product. Now in this one, you can potentially hire someone if you feel that you're not good at it, but if you are starting your own analytics consultancy, people are buying you, okay. You are the you are the reason um, uh, that that people come to you, so you need to be able to do it yourself. Um, but you know, I've seen people hire new business people just to open doors, and then you go in and you will present. Um, so if you're not good at the initial what they call cold calling, I guess, then maybe you can buy a, hire a new business. But again, that's cost money. That unless you've got good savings when you started the analytics consultancy, it's not something that um, uh, you know is is really cost effective. The final thing then is you need to manage clients because it's all very well winning them and then doing the work for them but you want to maintain relationships you don't want to make it like a, a conveyor belt that the client comes in you win them you do the project and they leave okay you want to keep growing them because as a small agency you can't keep putting a lot of effort into new business you need to be able to maintain your clients and also you know as a small agency you typically find a small agency or consultancy or a startup you probably do a better job or a good job anyway I mean one of the reasons you're probably wanting to do this is because you feel that um, if you did it yourself you, you could do a much better job and you will typically do a better job. So, um, you know, if you then keep the relationship with the client after you presented your first project, um, then, you know, hopefully they'll give you repeat business and that's a great way of growing or at least sustaining revenue as you grow with new clients um, and that. So that's it really. So the three things, like I said, is um, make sure you're able to do 80% of the project, uh, make sure that you can market and sell the analytics that you're trying to um, sell, uh, that your consultancy does, and finally be very good at managing clients because that's quite key. Okay, well, thank you for listening to the video. Please do comment below. And if you have any questions, again, put it in the comment section below. Please like my videos and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.